Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now today we are going to be discussing the rumour that has been going around that Connor Wood could potentially be on his way to Gillingham for a very, very small fee. Now just before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like on it, that would be massively appreciated. Let's try and go for 40 likes on today's video. That would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. They would be massively, massively appreciated. If you could do so, as like 50% of you guys who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So if you could subscribe, it would help me out massively. But I just want to uh, apologise quickly for yesterday's live stream. I did a live stream of the Bradford City versus Wolves on the 21s game. I did a match reaction to that. And about halfway through the second half, we were, we were 1-0 down. And my internet on my computer just went off completely. And it didn't turn back on until well after the game finished. So I do apologise about how the, why the stream ended. So early on into the second half, I do apologise. But it was completely out of my hands. But, you know, we ended up losing that game 5-3 on penalty. So we only get one point. So I think we're probably out of the Leasing.com trophy now. But today, we're going to be discussing the rumour that apparently... It's kind of doing the rounds on Twitter at the moment. Connor Wood could potentially be on his way to Gillingham. Apparently, Gillingham bidded 200,000 with no selling clause and no add ons. We wanted 400,000 no sell uh, with a selling clause and with add ons. Now, I'm not saying this is 100% concrete. You know, Stuart McCall came out after the Wolverhampton Wanderers game last night and said, you know, it's absolutely waffle and all that sort of stuff but they also said the same thing about James Vaughan and look what happened to that so today I'm going to be discussing my thoughts on the whole situation and what I think we should do with Connor Wood so if you could drop a like and subscribe it would be massively appreciated and let's get on to today's video so Connor Wood signed for the Bantams in our relegation season in 2018-19 when we ended up finishing rock bottom he didn't really feature much that season Adam Chickson was the first team left back but then Adam Chickson left and Connor Wood played a lot last season um, he went from a player that we didn't really know of, we obviously signed him from Leicester's Academy and he came in and he, last season he just completely ripped the league to shreds, he was probably one of the best fullbacks in the league last season, he was absolutely incredible, he's very very good at his last ditch tackles, you know the rest of the defence will get beaten and it'll just come out of nowhere, I remember specifically he did one against Grimsby, one against Salford and you know he's, he's, he's very very fast, he doesn't look like he's that fast but He's absolutely rapid, you know, he can cross the ball, you know, in the relegation season we did play more of his left mid and the crosses he puts into the box is absolutely brilliant, you know, sometimes he does over hit them a little bit if he's taken a corner or something like that, but he doesn't really take corners this year, but the way he crosses the ball, and it, it, I remember a stat he had at one point where he was like, he had a better cross accuracy, so like he crosses the ball and then it reaches a Bradford player. When we got relegated, I think it was in that season, or it might have been at the start of last season, and then Trent Alexander-Arnold, who's, you know, very well known for being a fullback with brilliant crossing and, you know, getting loads of assists, but Connor Wood, he, he, he has been playing left back a lot last season, and this year he's kind of playing in a new role, he's kind of playing as a left wing back, left mid sort of position in a 3-5-2 sort of system. I believe Connor Wood's contract is up in the summer, which is not great. You know, we need to be tied him down to a new deal. It was good that Reece Thornton signed a four-year deal a week or two ago. I can't quite remember when that was. It was just before the Forest, Ga Forest Green game, I believe. You know, buzzing that we've got him down for another four years. And we need to tie Connor Wood down. He's probably one of our best young players that we've currently got. And I know FIFA ratings don't mean a lot, but he, he has the best the joint best highest rating in the whole of League Two, meaning that you know EA Sports rank him as one of the, you know the best player in the league, along with Jay Sparing and Bruno Andrade, I think his name is from Salford. The fee being talked around, if it's true that we are asking for 400,000 plus selling costs and, and plus add-ons, I think that he's in the final year of his contract. I would like to, for us to get at least half a million up front, but. I don't see us doing that, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if you know, in a week's time we terminate this contract by mutual consent, but with McCall coming out, he's obviously trying to play down the rumours, but we'll have to wait and see, we don't really know what is going to happen, make sure let me know down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on this situation, would you let Connor Wood go, you know, how much would you let him go for if it were, you know, non-negotiable, he wants to leave, how much would you want for him, Gilling him offering 200,000 if that's true, that is, you know, there's no way we're going to accept that. Some reasons why I don't really believe this rumour could be true is because Gillingham weren't signing players for fees before the global pandemic and now obviously with the, with the fact we're, I mean we're coming towards the end of it now, I'm, we're not really going to get into that sort of stuff but I don't really see them paying a fee but knowing us we'll probably just let him go on a free like what we did with James Vaughan but I don't see Connor Wood having the same sort of attitude problems that James Vaughan had, you know Connor Wood seems to be very professional, he seems to just get on with his job and you know he does a very very good job of what he does, you know he's a brilliant brilliant fullback and picking him up, I think they got him for a free from Leicester's Academy, you know he's done absolutely brilliant for us. 
I remember once at Peterborough United away in the FA Cup when we drew 2-2 in the relegation season. Uh, we scored two goals in the last minute. Mellor and Colville, I think, got the goals. I was actually talking to Connor Wood's parents, you know, her mum, hey, her mum, his mum actually watches the videos, or she did back then, I don't know if she still does now, but um, I was talking to them, they, they were both lovely, and you know, they were saying that Connor were enjoying his time at Bradford. I know this was, you know, years ago now, but I don't really see it changing, considering the fact back then he wasn't really playing much, and now he's playing week in, week out. He's one of the, you know, he's a fan's favourite, all the fans loving that sort of stuff so I can't really see him his thoughts changing on that but in my opinion if he is to leave it's got to be for a significant fee we can't be doing what we said with the whole James Vaughan thing we won't let, won't let him go to a rival especially in the league rival sort of thing I know obviously Gillingham is a step above but any club we can't be letting him go on the cheap we have to be getting a big big fee for him because you know we need to reinvest the money I hope it isn't a Stefan Rupp way of getting one final paycheck before he leaves because there's been lots of rumours that he could be leaving. Julian Rhodes is set to leave next month for CAO and we're meant to be bringing in someone else in. I think he was at Swansea, you know, he did brilliant things there. So hopefully it's not a situation of Stefan Rupp just wants one final paycheck before he ends up going back to Germany or wherever because we all know he's not that interested in Bradford City. You know, he's helped us with the finances, um, helped support the club when we needed it through obviously this, this pandemic sort of thing. But I don't want him to be thinking, oh, you know, there's a team in for Connor Woody, I could get a couple hundred thousand for him. I might take that I and mean, then I could just, you know, sell the club. I really hope that isn't the case. But as I said, this is all just a rumour. It could be a load of nonsense. You know how it is. But I just wanted to bring you guys some content today. Make sure to let get your comments in. Let me know down in the comments below. What are your whole thoughts on the situation? Would you allow Connor Wood to leave? If so, how much would you be wanting for him? What sort of sell-on clause add-ons would you be looking for him? Because, you know, I believe he's got the potential to maybe get to the Premier League, I could definitely see him being in the Championship in a couple of years time, you know, I think if he don't get promoted this season, I don't think he'll sign a new contract and he'll probably move on to like a Peterborough, a team like that, you know, I think he would suit Peterborough's uh, recruitment policies very, very well. But that is where I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed it, if you could drop a like on it, for likes, as I said at the start of the video, would much appreciate Subscribe if you are new as well. We're now on the road to 4,200 subscribers. So if you could help me get on the road to that, that would be massively appreciated. And I'll see you all guys in the next video. Peace. Lean over, do it, do